and uh, she was I asked her what she's going to throw she basically ran down a list of everything she's going to throw a little bit of everything want to know the count that one's hit off the fist right to Sissy Dunn at first base and that'll be a quick out for the Trojan so two pitches Here's the 2-2. Libby Baker looking for out number three. That's on the outside part. McKinney ranges to a right, makes the throw for out number three. And that'll do it for the Skyhawks in the time of the first. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Ten stolen bases. Preseason all Sun Belt this year. Was also named by D1 Softball as one of the top ten second baseman in the country the only group of five player to do that and she's going to hit a little poke over to right field for the first base hit of the season for the Trojans softball back in action games happening all across the country starting today and yesterday that one's going to be popped up over to Dunn she grabs it for the second out call the ball Troy Carroll wanted it. it. Looked just to be a little bit out. Just off the edge. Two and one. That one's going to be hit right to Audra Thompson for out number three, and that'll do it. Skyhawks do get their first hit, but can't do anything with it. Ever starting over at the hot corner this year. That one's going to be off of her fist, and that'll get down for a base hit as the center fielder tried to race in and grab it but just could not get there in time. Over in foul territory as Fuller chased that one down but now a good chance and that one's going to get through. That one's going to score two runs. Boswell going to have to hurry. A strong throw will get her. But Riggs will make it in safely to third base on the throw home. That one hit in the air, started in right center field. It drifted all the way back over to center field. A strong arm by that center fielder, Bloom. But that's going to be a sacrifice fly as Riggs able to make it in. Has made it a 3-1 to one ball game. There's a ground ball right back to Baker. She'll throw it over. Two first, four out, number three. The Skyhawks do come back. Make it a two-run game, three to one. Here to Kirsten Brown. That's gonna be a call. Third strike right on the outside part of the plate. 8-9-1. Turner singled in the second, came around to score. That's going to be another base hit for Natalie Turner. Two plate appearances. That time she's able to get one down. This is going to be a tough play. Again, some confusion defensively and that's going to be a base hit oh and one count two sentence wind still blowing out towards left that one's going to get down that's going to be in the gap that's going to score one run that's going to score another they're going to hold Turner or excuse me Riggs at third and Sinis has a two run double to put the Trojans back on top. Taylor McKinney steps up. That's going to be a liner off the second baseman's glove. And that'll score a run. A hard hit ball that. That one's going to be hit up to the left fielder, not having to move much. She'll grab it, throw comes in, but Sinis able to race in 
and get in there. It's a called strike three break. Has to tag the runner. Two runners on. Two balls, two strikes, two outs to the number two hitter. And got her swinging for the third out of the inning. Second strikeout of the inning. 0 oh and 1. Ground ball up to Turner. She's going to be able to step on second over to first for the double play. A big play from the shortstop, Natalie Turner. That one's going to be popped up. This could be the final out, and it is as Riggs grabs it for the third out of the inning, and the Trojans come away with the victory.